What up, Reject Nation? We're gonna watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. As always, hit that like button if you end up enjoying our reaction. Or the dislike button, doesn't matter which one. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our reaction for the next one is up. And you know, full-length watch-alongs we sync up with the time code for B99 or over at our Patreon page. You know the gist. <sighs> Gotta be careful on how to pronounce that or else YouTube's gonna be like, what you say? What? Yellow dollar. All right, guys, let's get into it, people. All right, gang, diet day four. How's everyone holding up? Honestly, I'm going to last forever. You hear that, bitches? I'm gonna last forever. This morning, the homeless guy on my stoop said my skin looked dope. We're doing a diet together. My wife found it. She heard about it at Mommy and Me Graphic Design. Wait. It might have been toddler karate. <laughs> she takes our little ladies to so many classes, I can't keep it straight. Childhood is truly a time of wonder. <laughs> All the meals are pre-planned and delivered to your doorstep. This is our breakfast. An orange wedge, three cashew nuts, and a solitary grape. <laughs> We're gonna get through this together. Hey guys, pro tip, lick the baggie. There's food molecules in there. Oh, oh that's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'm here to meet Charles. Did you hear what he did last night? Drink it, Jake. Mm. Uh, Why is uh, there a bow tie in here? Best man. Jake Peralta, will you be my best man? Yes. <laughs> Plus, he gave me this to prep. Fancy broad gum. It means fancy groom in Danish. According to Charles, the Danes throw the most beautiful weddings in the world and the most violent funerals. <laughs> Hello, my big, beautiful BM. Best man, just best man. <laughs> totally prepared. I even bought some nurse shoes. Love them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Officer Deepmore helped me out with my crime scene, so I gave him a little thank you present. If you're gonna bag evidence like a five-year-old, you should have the proper tools. It's in my first police kit. <laughs> You humiliated Officer Deedmore in front of his peers. He submitted an official complaint against you. Oh, no. Fill it out in crayon? <laughs> he did use a green pen, which seems crazy to me. <laughs> I'm great at apologizing. I'm a very sweet person. Out of my way, chunk. <laughs> the engaged life is amazing, especially sexually. Well, I don't want to cry. You're not crying. I want you to know this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm usually more of a chocolate guy, but this one's closer, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, hot, hot. It's habanero pepper frosting because our marriage is going to sizzle. <laughs> Come on, show me what you got. Awesome. Liberace, Diane Keaton. Roger that. <laughs> Summer linen suit. Casual, but classic. Actually, not bad. One question. Pink tie. Can you see my underwear? Oh, oh yeah. Why are you wearing a thong? It's my something borrowed. <laughs> Lunch time. Wait's over. That was easy. Totally. I feel like we just had our snack an hour and 17 minutes ago. <laughs> Though I did take diet pills in the 70s. I love these pills. They give me so much energy. And I can eat whatever I want. Oh, God. Oh. He's <laughs> Ingredients. Carrot. Gotta respect that. Uh, I knew it. Just a sloppy Jessica. Mac and cheese. Chili pizza on a bun. Uh, oh my god. Oh, my heart hurts. Oh my god. And I want it too. I thought you were gonna last forever, bitches. Turns out I gave up easy. You hear that, bitches? I gave up so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Own it, girl. Do you have a pen I could borrow to sign these forms? You bet I don't have a pen. I never do. <laughs> oh, no, it's my retirement paperwork. What? Shut up. What? Yeah. Vivian got a job in suburban Ottawa. She wants me to retire from the NYPD and go with her. Oh, no. Boyle, we're supposed to die on the force together. Me in a big explosion and you committing suicide at my funeral out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's everything Brooklyn does. Really? Yes! Other than my job and my friends and my family, you. 
every other reason that I have to live. Okay, I'm kind of picking up on a couple of clues that you maybe don't want to retire in Canada. Oh my God. Jake, you're such an amazing detective. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> A plus. <laughs> Vivian, I love you, but we need to talk about Ottawa. Right, and then she'll say, you're a selfish man pig, and I hope you die alone, and I never loved you. We're going to the stationery store next. We can write a bunch of stuff down. It's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. No deep breaths. Makes the testicles clap. <laughs> it's like every fitting I've ever had. I've been working on a letter to send him. Yes, I saw a draft of it on your desk. What'd you think? It was so horrifying, I had to destroy the whole pad. <laughs> look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like an acting exercise. Yeah. I'm sorry. Good, that's the one. <laughs> Nailed it. I've been sucking on it so long, it's smooth. It's like sea glass. You do you. <gasps> no! Oh, no! I'll get that for you, Ames. The cashew. No! On her feet, sorry about that. Sorry? You bumbling son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get hit by a truck and a dog that's a dump on your face! <laughs> I'm never like that. That's okay, it's my fault. I shouldn't have bumped your cashew. Cashew? It was an almond, you idiot! <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to Vivi. Great idea, buddy. Huh? Yep. Oh. You can't tempt me, trader. Not when I got this big, juicy cantaloupe wedge to keep me company. It's so thin I could see through it. <laughs> Come hold this so it looks bigger in your tiny hand. <laughs> Santiago loves cantaloupe time. He wrote a song about it. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> cantaloupe. <laughs> I need the accompaniment. Cantaloupe time. <laughs> that was so funny. This is my second burger. Okay, I lied. It's my fourth. <clears throat> yeah, but you didn't mean it. I'd like you to apologize like you mean it. Fine. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry you screwed up my case. I'm sorry you're a terrible cop. I'm sorry for your goat face and your rodent brain and your weird goose body. I meant all of that. I sat down face to face, then I panicked and totally bailed. Oh no. The good news is, she's on her way here and you're gonna talk to her for me. Oh no. Just tell her I absolutely shouldn't retire and move to Canada, but don't tell her I think that. <laughs> oh, hi, Vivian. Oh no. Vivian! <laughs> 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 I tried talking to her just like we practiced, but every time I bring up Ottawa, she says how excited she is about our future. Then we made love. Don't say made love. Fine, we had wonder sex. Don't want to know what that is. But I can't lose her. You're my best man. Please help me. Fine, I'll try. Okay, but bring it up naturally so she doesn't think I put you up to it. Sure, how hard could that be? I'm constantly talking about suburban Ottawa. <sighs> Wait, go, go. I still have to pee. Why would I stay for that? <laughs> Moral support. Please eat, you look weak. I'm fine. I am stronger than ever. Watch this. Oh no. Sarge, what, what are you doing? What the shit? Wow. See? I'm fine. What is happening? Oh. Dad, it messed up my system. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Terry, no. Go back inside! Are you talking to us or the fart? <laughs> Where does the best maple syrup come from again? Vermont. <laughs> Canada. Canada? Hey, that reminds me. Weren't the two of you talking about maybe moving there? Oh yeah, we are so excited to start this new chapter of our lives together. I wonder if that's the best thing for him. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to care, but... Chuck is excited about moving to Canada, right, baby? <laughs> Do they even have pizza in Canada? Yes. It's puffier and it's sweet. It's called Manitoba sauce cake. Okay, there's no way Charles wants that. I think you're overstepping here. Charles and I both want to move to Canada. Is that true, Charles? Is that what you want? 
Come on, buddy. I want to retire from the force and move to Ottawa with Vivian. And frankly, I have no idea why you're getting involved. You're leaving? What? <laughs> <laughs> when I was a young officer, I was that rat and got zapped. And all I wanted was to be captain and throw some lightning bolts. And for Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a leader. What? That's bullshit. I'm sorry. Please, yes. No need to make a scene. <laughs> Charles, get in the car. No. Ha. Go to heck. He's got the lights on. Police, stop walking. <sighs> oh, I hate that I'm so by the book. <laughs> you're not handing in those retirement papers without telling Vivian how you feel. I won't let you. Oh, really? And how are you going to stop me? Baton to the knee. Baton to the knee. Oh. I'm sorry for making fun of you in front of everybody. And also for making fun of you behind your back. Didn't know you did that, but thank you for the apology. I'm not done. Also, I'm sorry for making fun of you during my book club. <laughs> also, I'm sorry I... It's okay. I get it. No. Also, I'm sorry that I didn't take the time to show you how to fix your mistake. Come on. We can go over it upstairs. Thanks. That'd be great. One more sorry. You're about to see a drawing I did of you in the elevator. Just remember, I was really pissed at you at the time. <laughs> I'm making you talk to Vivian. Okay, thanks. You're right. And you know what? I'm ready. No, He's gonna get it. I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Why the long card? <laughs> <laughs> My wife is on the diet. She's a little self-conscious about her body since giving birth to twins. It's crazy. I think she looks perfect, and I tell her that all the time. Mm, and I love that you do that, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I thought I could do with her, just hand me that milkshake. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? What? Thank you. We are still a team, and we will keep you from eating so you can support your wife. However, just to be clear, Gina and I are still going to eat. She <laughs> 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 a corn dog. <laughs> ah, hello, Vivian. Charles has something you'd like to say. In case he tries to flee. <laughs> we need to talk about Ottawa. Well, Vivian and I talked for hours. There's a lot more to discuss, but it's a start. You were right. She didn't dump me. Your duties as best man aren't over yet. What? Whiskey and cigars. <laughs> Thanks for being the best best man. To the fancy brood gum. <sighs> ha! Ha! Spicy! Why is that spicy? <laughs> <laughs> I could spend my time talking about how good of an episode that is. So funny. <laughs> Enhance the characters all around. Mm -hmm. All I'm thinking about is how this bitch hasn't oh, done no. anything at all for my wedding coming up. What do you want? Wow. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done some research on what best men are supposed to do. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah, whatever. Don't really, uh, what a crock of shit. Fully, <laughs> it's actually, I, 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 yeah. No, no. I'm very frightened. You're frightened. <laughs> Yeah, who I'm, has the, the big thing to do? <laughs> you. I'm frightened for both of us. <laughs> Mostly, I'm frightened. That's not the Olivia. best man's position. I'm, the best man is supposed to be like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna get we're you. We're gonna have so much fun doing stuff you like. Yeah, and we won't have time. Yeah, I know. We'll just be here. <laughs> we'll be here the day before. Be like, hey, Greg, I got you a bachelor party. We're collabing with a couple people while we continue to share. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good episode. It was funny as hell. Mm. That was really funny. Yeah. I know what it's like to go on those crazy diets. They are not fun. Actually, my friends Tony and Courtney, um, they have already done more for the wedding than John has. They 
uh, <laughs> and he used to do this diet that really lost a bunch of weight, and it was the stupidest diet I don't think they're ever going back to it again, where it was like you could only have five bites a day. Isn't that awful? That doesn't sound like it's based on real science whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I lost a lot of weight. I was like, no shit, yeah. you lost a lot of weight. <laughs> no matter how big those bites are, you're not eating much at <laughs> all, oh my God. ever. That sounds awful. It doesn't matter how much you jam back your mouth. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's terrible seeing that he had the digestive stuff. Your body wants to clean itself out. The second he lifted it up, I was like, I feel like I'd take a shit right there. <laughs> Once with the weight going on, and then they start farting. <laughs> like, oh, that's that's about we're accurate to the situation at hand. Uh, but the, I've only done like a cleanse, like a, like a cleanse twice in my life, only for like five days. Mm. Nothing of that caliber, where it's like a fruit. It's like, but you know, whatever. It's not about that. That's what you should try next. See, I just love working out, but I love eating. Well, you need to I'm eat to this, work out. I'm in this, <laughs> stagnant part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I... Right now, I just want to go to the kitchen and eat some Cheez-Its. It's all I'm really thinking oh, about. Cheez-Its. I haven't had cheese in a long time. Cheez-Its are amazing. They're the best. They're baked and uh, delicious. Mm-hmm. That's what I learned from this episode. <laughs> but also with uh, uh, Rosa. Rosa. Rosa learning some real false leadership crap. <laughs> You're supposed to talk down all the time. Uh, Especially yeah. to a, if you have a group of people. Mm -hmm. That's how you keep people moving that wheel. Mm. You keep right. them afraid, yeah. You dangle the cheese on the wheel, and then if they're doing a bad job, you yell at all of them. That's how you handle <laughs> a collective of people. I've never understood how else you're supposed to do it. I could learn a lot from, from you. <laughs> Shut up, John. Oh. <laughs> Great advice, thank you. <laughs> Feels so much better prepared now. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. Of, uh, yeah, I never really viewed Rose as leader, but I once he said it, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I see the leadership. I see the leadership capabilities. They're all right there. I see the potential as long as she can rein in some of her more uh, outwardly abrasive tendencies. Yeah, her reactionary tendencies. You're definitely a leader, Sean. I am, and I've been waiting for you to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Initiative over here. <laughs> yup. That's how you do it. You just make fun of John. <laughs> that's right, man. Because I, I have a confident idea of what is the right thing to do always. <laughs> You act like, on it right away. I'm always like, <laughs> you won't feel very dumb later for attempting this. Uh, and then, what? Uh, oh, yeah, of course, the best man stuff, too. Yeah, man. Br br blah, blah. Coming up with that, you know, uh, uh, mustering up the courage to be honest with your partner. It's hard. Never happens. <laughs> yeah. Because we're too busy. Uh, John's yeah. always initiating the conversations. The tough talks. Oh, he's going out there. That's right, man. I'm definitely more of a Peralta in this situation. Yeah. I mean, you're you're more of a Peralta across the board. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, with a little bit of Terry mixed in. <laughs> Terry? Yeah, you know, because, like, you know, you get shit done, and, like, you're good at whipping people onto task. You're like, if Peralta's fun met Terry's structure, you're not quite a Hulk, because you're not that stuffed, you know? I think I'm a little bit more of a Holt. Sure. I mean, Holt and Terry have similar leadership attributes. Whoa, racist! That's right, because they're both buff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what the hell? What the fuck do you want from us? <laughs> this is a good episode, right? It's funny as hell. <laughs> Hopefully you got a few more laughs out of the sitcom that happened after the sitcom. <laughs> after the episode. Yeah, man. That's, uh, that, was, that was a touching episode. Yeah, man. Every plot line had some fun juju in it. You can't force people to do something. No. You can't change people, but people can change themselves. Mm. No matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to change people the way you want to shape them yourself. It's hard. It's hard, you know? Because I constantly see people as like this, this clay. You know what I mean? This Play-Doh. Mm. And I'm just like, let me 
go in there and mold just you. Me shape you the way yeah. I see you. My image. Yeah, they say don't look at people for who they are, look at them for who they can become. And I go, yeah, let me try to get them to be who they can become forcefully. <laughs> And you know, it never, not once, has panned out good for me. Let me outwardly reject who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Only focus on who they could be <laughs> through my own specific lens. Approach with, here's what's wrong with you. <laughs> so let me make you right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, let me boil the scenario, the circumstances of you and your existence down to a binary of good or bad. <laughs> That's That'll how, help. That's how you do it. Yeah. That doesn't screw anybody up. Uh, yeah, this was uh, this was awesome. This is another solid installment. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, don't worry, we'll get to a day, to a week eventually. Two a day, especially Every now that the show's over. Yeah, they we just gotta ride ended. that wave. They just ended. We gotta, we gotta ride that wave. Before. No one watching no one it anymore. anymore. <laughs> Come on, get the, the nostalgia wave is next though. We gotta, yeah. Maybe it'll take oh, a Oh, these will pick up in like 10 years. Yeah, right? 10 years from now, <laughs> yeah. these are going to be blowing Five, up. Yeah. Everyone's going to be like, remember Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well eventually, these, we, we're, we're in the long-term game, so eventually the views on these are going to skyrocket. We're going to see a surge in views. Definitely. And that's going to be the it's, number one thing on the channel. It's like when Cobra Kai moved to Netflix. Mm -hmm. Just a surge in views. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then instead of Spider-Man all the time, we'll just cover Brooklyn Nine-Nine all the time. I freaking Peacock. Get more viewers, Peacock. If you get more viewers and subscriptions, more people will watch our videos. Mm -hmm. Or just sell your crap to Netflix. Yeah, dude. Everyone's got Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn streaming services. All right, guys, listen, we're done with today's video. If you enjoyed John's discussions, points, subscribe <laughs> to John's <laughs> YouTube channel called The Quartering. Yeah, yep. that's that's me. No, that's not you. Yeah, I just strap on a big beard. <laughs> <laughs> I just shave it off every time I come in here. I have a problem. It grows very fast. Okay, guys. Well, we're about to do an interview with Alex Jones. Um, yes, but before we do so. that... Rosa Para. Rosa, considering that this episode dealt significantly with a Latina person who Named Rosa. found herself in a leadership position today, obviously I'm going to think about you. You're someone who has a story that inspired me because you were dealt a couple of shitty hands. And then what did you do? You rose to the occasion. You see this? This is called an obstacle. This is you. And what did you do? You overcame the obstacle. And sure, did you land on your butt at one point? Yeah, but what did you do? You got off your butt, onto your feet, climbed the stairs of parental and career success and dreams. And now, here you are today, forgetting that you're still pledged to our Patreon page. So Rosa, I think what you're missing is a tad bit more management skills. If you're able to go through your checking or credit card account, you'll see that, oh, I forgot to cancel my subscription to their Patreon so long ago. So um, I'm here to help you out with that. Just uh, shoot me a message and uh, I can refund you for the last four years. Yeah. This Justin. Yeah. Greg is negative in his bank account. Oh, Rosa. <laughs> That's mean. But we love you anyway. Sorry, you're broke now. It's fine. I don't know why I didn't take any of your money. <laughs> you know, Jesus. be careful what you say during a patron of the day shout out. That's all I'm saying.